Well, I'm really happy we won. Happy for our guys. Uh, you know, we missed that that layup would have put us up four. And you just hate to St. Louis would miss a couple free throws, cost us game late. You just hate to have a player have that, have to think about that. But um, you know, it was nice to finally win here. You know, this is a great program. Obviously, Shaka Smart did a really good job, but so did the coaches before him and. Um, uh, the new coach is doing a great job. Uh, I think they're really hard to guard this year. Uh, they took our strength away. You know, we really struggled inside. Kevin, we didn't get to the free throw line like we normally do. Uh, we're very fortunate to win. I, I felt pretty good at halftime because Tyler didn't play much because of foul trouble. And we scored the first bucket and tied it up. And then, boom, you know, 9 nothing run, three threes in a row. The crowd got into it. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go again. So um, our guys kind of hung in there. We had to grind it out, get back in the game. And um, Larson woke up a little bit. And, uh, you know, we shared the ball. We had a lot of guys with multiple assists. But, um, you know, that team was hot. They'd won 12 in a row. Not easy to come here and get a win. But this is what I expected from our team this year. You know, we need to get these kind of wins with our experience. And I think a guy like Matola really helps us, where last year we had a backup guard that just you know, it wasn't capable of playing at this level. And, and um, you know, that, that really, really hurt us. So um, we're fortunate to win. I thought they ran a great play late. I'm glad they took a three because I just don't know if I could have handled a overtime. But then I thought they were going to lay it in. So, um, you know, Joe misses a layup. They get the ball. Seems like a layup. So, kind of a crazy way to end it. But um, definitely grateful that that we won this game. Coach mentioned you guys can get to the free throw line as often as you'd like, but 55 percent of the charity strike so it could have been much more. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, we're like 10th or 11th in the country. And, you know, honestly, on the road sometimes, we got to get mentally tougher. You know, we got some good players and good free throw shooters up there missing free throws. And I wish I had to answer with our experience. You don't expect it, but it's happened a lot this year on the road. And it's, it's cost us at least, uh, you know, Dayton, five for 15, I think. And, you know, St. Louis missed free throws. And Cincinnati went one for two late, could have won the game. But it's won us a lot of games, too. So um, I was glad, uh, you know, Joe made that one. I usually tell him to miss the second one on purpose, but he was trying to make it and, and he missed it. But um, yeah, you just hate to see guys with our kind of experience go up there because it makes it hard to get back in the game when you're missing free throws. Mike, how about run outs? Um, they missed inside. Was that something that y'all would see on the field and try to just something happen in the game? Is our, our run outs? Or, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that they're, they're crashing the boards and different things. We usually don't get too many of those. Uh, I thought we should have scored a little bit more, but. Um, and I know Mo Ali Cox is a great shot blocker, but they don't really have a lot of shot blockers. We were in transition. We were jumping in the guys, trying to draw all kinds of crazy fouls, circus shots. Uh, I thought we should have just went in there and, you know, and really tried to uh, to score. But um, I, I don't know what it was that we did get some some much needed uh, uh, breakaway layups. But um, they took us out of our offense, and that made it hard for us to get the ball inside, you know, to Kevin and, and Tyler. So I credit their coaching staff for that. Um, you know, his, his three his three balls have been going in this year. And I thought a big play, we ran this uh, GW3 play for him. And right in front of the corner of our bench, he got a wide open three. And that gave our team you know, a lot of momentum. I was on him at halftime because he hasn't been rebounding this year. I think he had zero rebounds at the half. And you know, we should be the best rebound team in the league. And we're right there with Mason. But he got four in the second half. And to me, that's just as important as him you know, scoring 27 points. Yeah, I mean, the havoc was great. I think we're better now. We could have handled more of the havoc if it was old havoc. Um, but I like watching him on film. I like how he switches defenses and at two two one comes after you. And you know, Briante Weber was special. You know, he's. I mean, I still have nightmares about that kid in his headband. But um, <laughs> but I tell you, uh, their point guard now, whew, he's become a terrific player. Um, Lewis, he can shoot threes now. And then um, the kid gets all the steals. Uh, Doug Brooks. I mean. They're, they're, they're a little different. I mean, you got Briante Weber, you could run anything. I mean, we, we wouldn't even bring the ball up against him. Whoever, whoever he was guarding, you weren't allowed to bring the ball up the, uh, the court. But I, I think uh, you know, Will's doing a great job, and he's changing defenses. I think they can be harder to guard offensively. And um, you know, I, I wish Shaka was here. It was great for the league. Um, but I, my friends are, oh, aren't you lucky? He's going to say, hey, you know, Capel and the other guy before him, they did a great job. And, and um, this guy's going to do a great job. He got a very good AD. He's a smart guy. I mean, whether you chose Mike Rhodes or the coach here now, you know, you guys are going to be good as long as you get that 8,000 people there. I mean, that's a, that's a heck of a thing. So I'm happy VCU is doing really well. And um, we're going to have our hands full with them when they come to our place. But I know it'll be a sellout because they'll travel well. Coach, physically, you guys uh, resemble a lot of the teams that have given them trouble this year. 
um, basically, you know, Petruccio 6, 6, 6 plus all along the front line. Um, is it where there anything in the, some of those previous losses that you saw that thought you guys could, could sort of mimic that? And, the, um, the only thing I saw, Davidson, you know, was down like 20, and um, they didn't panic. It's easier being at home not to panic and have a great player. Um, and that was what we tried to focus on. And it's hard when you're down nine, two minutes in the second half, but we just want to sustain their runs. Um, but I looked at VCU this year. They play a national schedule. We try to do the same. And they lost some close games, some big-time programs. And, you know, they got a new coach. They got some new players. I mean, Trevion Graham and – you know, Weber, I mean, they, they lost some players. Uh, so, I, shoot, I think they're doing a great job here. And they lost some close games. And, man, to win whatever it was, nine or ten in a row in our league and win 12 in a row, that's, that's hard to do. I mean, I think we're pretty good. But that's a, that's a long uh, winning streak. I'm sure they'll bounce back. Um, this loss, you know, isn't going to kill them. Um, you know, this win helps us, and we needed a win like this. But um, I, I think they're really hard to scout. And, um, and I don't know their coach. I got nothing to you know, gain by it. But I think he's doing a heck, a heck of a job. We were just trying to switch everything, and I just said I just don't want them to, you know, really get to the rim. I, I wanted, a, I was hoping they'd run a play and get a shot uh, where we could contest. And I, you know, he was open for a minute, but luckily Patricia got out there and got, a, you know, got a late contest. Hey, I'm disappointed. We you know, stood around and watched the guy get the, the rebound. I'm still not sure what happened. I guess somehow it got in Joe's, uh, Joe hand, Joe's hands. But shoot, that guy hit seven threes. I think. You know, last game. So for them, that's a pretty good look. And um, you know, like I said, I I don't really want to play for overtime. I mean, Kevin gets tired, and Tyler, we just don't have the bench. Uh, that would have been tough for us. So um, I didn't want the three to go in, but I'm kind of glad it was they were going for the win. Did you think they win the rebounding battle? Uh, no, but um, but they're so relentless on the glass, <laughs> and we we truthfully don't like to box out. And with their athleticism, uh, I forgot how many offense rebounds they had at halftime, um, but they had they had a lot. And, um, you know, so it's disappointing. Um, but sometimes when we got guys aren't scoring, they don't get after it enough on, uh, you know, on, on the glass. But then even so to, to flip the points in the paint, doing it different ways um, in the second half, was that something you really stressed about? 